parents take prior importance in the life of a child. This is irrespective of if they are around during the trying years or if they're drunks, deadbeats, or other names which they're usually called. This is a general phenomenon, not based on religion, background, or even race. These actions most time reflect in a child-parent relationship that they get to have. There's, however, a frequent show of it among celebrities. Or maybe this is because they're put under the lenses most hours of the day. And this is our goal of today. We'll be talking about some celebrities and the parent-child relationship. One thing that's clear from these relationships is that people will always remain irrespective of the fame and money that they have and how perfect their profiles seem to read. Everyone has drama, whether it's mild or severe, it's always there. And the family relationship can be pretty complicated. Like we say all the time, do not forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for this channel. Number 1. Eminem It's my mother, and it's like I love her no matter what she does, but sometimes when I look back at the things that she did to me, it's, it's, it's crazy. For the rapper, Eminem has been pretty vocal about the disdain that he has for his mother, and that he still does have some. This is not because he's untouchable, but because they feel that someone to publicly diss their own supposed mother, there's no winning over that person, and no line too large for him to cross. Hence, his acclaimed reverence in the industry. Deborah R. Nelson Mathers, the rapper's mother, has been reportedly called out by her son in various songs and in various ways. His complaint about her, from what we've heard over time, is that she's been abusive and also an addict to drugs. In the songs Cleaning Out My Closet and Without Me, he sings about this side of her, which led to Nelson Mathers filing a suit of defamation of character against the rapper. This case was, however, taken out of court in 2014 for reasons best known to the rapper, and though an apology song titled Headlights was released, it is still not known if things got better between them. Number 2. Demi Lovato He was abusive. He... He was... Mean. With Lovato, just as in the case of Eminem, was pretty vocal about her daddy issues. Demi Lovato became estranged from her father in 2007, and the same man passed away in 2013 from cancer. Her mother, in 2018, went on publishing the memoir titled Falling With Wings, and in this book, she describes the type of abuse that she suffered from Demi's father Patrick. Of these abuses, she talks about a time that she lost a finger even before the singer was born as a result of his actions. It could be said that this abuse continued, even when the then baby was born, seeing as she sang songs like Daddy Issues, For the Love of a Daughter, and Father. Mental health issues coupled with substance and physical abuse were the charges levied against Patrick Lovato. And one can only hope that they at least made peace before his demise. Number 3. Emma Roberts Her quiet dignity about the whole situation. It's just nice to watch. This actor has an estranged father with whom she has no relationship. Her father, Eric Roberts, separated from her mother, Kelly Cunningham, when she was still an infant, and it may have been that way ever since. In this case of estrangement, Eric Roberts' sister, Julia Roberts, got estranged from her brother as a result of the separation between her brother and his wife. She went further in funding Kelly's legal battle for custody of Emma. In 2013, we saw Eric defend Emma after a falling out that she had with her boyfriend. This could have been an attempt to get back with his daughter, but it could have also equally been a ploy to save face with his reputation in the public eye, or perhaps an avenue to wiggle his way into the life of his daughter, seeing as she became a person of interest in the public space. Number 4. Lindsay Lohan I don't want to be a part of my life. They're not part of my family, and they never will be. As a child actor, rising from the root to garner the fame that she has today, Lindsay Lohan has had her time stuck in the face with cameras following her every move. And as such, it's not strange that the media has an eye on her family drama. In the early parts of this year, her father, Michael Lohan, was arrested for allegedly assaulting his ex, Kate Major. And what Dina Lohan, Lindsay's mom, had to say about this was, quote, she's seen it all before, end quote. Backtracking to an interview that Lindsay had with Vanity Fair in 2006, we're reminded of the actor describing her father as abusive and an alcoholic that anguished her. Over the years, the duo have tried to patch their relationship up, but as they say, it seems that some wounds do not get healed up even after several years have passed. Number 5. Drew Barrymore but I didn't have a dad. I, I felt like my mom was abandoning me because she was always off at work. It's hard on grown-up adults who have parent issues, 
but it's even a worst case scenario seeing this game play out with minors, and in this case, popular kids. By the time she reached the age of 14, Drew Barrymore at long last became emancipated from her biological mother, who locked her up at the age of 13 for drug and alcohol abuse. With all these things being true, and knowing that she is not speaking on terms with her mother, Drew still talks about her mother, Jade Barrymore, in her book, Via Culture. She wrote, I still support her. I must know that she is taken care of or I simply cannot function. She goes on to add, I am grateful to this woman for bringing me into this world, and it would crush me to know that she was in need anywhere. It is not who I am to harbor any anger for the fact that our life together was so incredibly unorthodox. All in all, it's somewhat of a miracle to see that Drew turned out well, given the circumstances that surrounded her life even at the age of seven when she came into the limelight. Number six, Jennifer Aniston. My mom and I always had sort of a push and pull kind of a relationship. Whether it's a case of Jennifer's mom not knowing how to express her love for her daughter or Jennifer seeing her mother's love for hatred, we can't say. But what we do know is that the Friends star famously had a strain with her mother, Nancy Dow. Nancy, a former actor and model, was very critical of Jennifer and her career. Their relationship was so bad that Jennifer didn't invite her mom to her marriage with Brad Pitt. Jennifer once spoke that her childhood was blighted because it did not match up to her model mom's expectations, especially in the area of glamour and looks. When she spoke to Elle magazine in January of 2019, she admitted that she didn't think that her mother was, quote, trying to be a bitch, but it still caused deep wounds, end quote. It was the publication of From Mother and Daughter to Friends, a memoir in 2019 that killed her relationship with Nancy as Jennifer was upset with the revelations in her book. She cut her mom out of her life for 15 years with her only reconciling just before Nancy's death in 2016. Despite the strain that they had, Jennifer paid for all of her mom's medical bills before she passed. But then, Nancy still wrote her out of her will. Jennifer told The Hollywood Reporter, Quote, she was also very unforgiving. She would hold grudges that I just found so petty. Number seven, Selena Gomez. Early into 2018, Selena had an alleged falling out with her mom, but apparently this wasn't the first time they wouldn't be on talking terms. Rumor has it the reason for the strain was because of Selena and Justin Bieber getting back together at the time after breaking up a million times already. Some others said that was far from the truth, as Selena and her mom, who was once her manager, had fights previously. The beef goes back to 2014, back when Selena's mom was fired for being her manager. Quote, it caused a huge riff in their relationship, a source told E! News. Mandy wouldn't even let Selena talk to her sister for a long time. End quote. The issues they had reflected in the 13 Reasons Why show, too. Sure, the mother-daughter duo attended the premiere together looking happier than ever, but according to sources, Mandy had a really hard time working on the show because she was so emotionally and professionally affected by Selena firing her as her manager. Right now, they have resolved their issues as the mother and daughter share a tight bond now more than before. Number 8. Heather Graham On the climb to success and fame, one must be ready to do anything to climb. That's exactly what must have been on Heather's mind but it's just too bad her parents did not agree with this. After Graham took the part of Roller Girl in the film Boogie Nights, she had a falling out with her parents. It appears the part she took portrayed an adult performer who works in the adult film industry. The film was released in 1997 and became a hit that eventually launched Heather's career. But due to the part she took in the film, her parents were not happy and they ended up cutting her off. She has not spoken to them ever since. Number 9. Meg Ryan in 1991, Meg Ryan decided to end her relationship with her mother. They argued about Meg's choice of husband. Her mother, Susan Jordan, didn't approve of her marriage to Dennis Quaid. As a result of this, Meg decided to not invite her to their wedding. But according to Meg, the relationship she had with her mother had long been strained. Susan was talented and had been a housewife since we got married. Harry told the publication, she just wanted more. And so, she moved to New York to find a life as an actress. Quote, it was hard for her to not have her mother at home in terms of proms and first dates and first kisses, Meg's friend Tracy Parsons said. She was very unhappy, end quote. Much later after this, Susan and Meg had reconciled. But in 1979, Susan had to have a mastectomy, and Meg didn't pay her any visit, saying she did not feel comfortable. It was when she met Dennis Quaid in 1990 that she and her parents had a falling out due to their arguments on his drug use. Meg felt that Susan abandoned her for a Hollywood life. 
and their strife over the drug-using Dennis led to Meg's parents not getting invited to their wedding in 1991. And number 10, Adele. In 2012, Adele opened up to Vogue about her estranged father, Mark Evans. After her father spoke to a UK tabloid, Adele said, quote, I was actually ready to start trying to have a relationship with him. She added, he effing blown it. He will never hear from me again because there is nothing that would upset me more than my dad being bribed by the press. It's like, just let them run it then. Don't give them the ammunition. In October of 2015, after Adele's album 25 was released, he claimed the two had reconciled. He told The Sun, quote, Adele and I are fine. It was a misunderstanding. We patched things up, everything's fine, but I don't want to make further comment. The joy and happiness that comes with being at peace with your family members is a blessing, as the work of the family is to stand by one through all things. It's just a pity that these celebrities do not enjoy that blessing. And that's all for celebrities with messy parent issues. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notifications. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.